Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. It is with great pleasure. The praise team members today, Sister Akan K. Scott, Sister Opal Smith, Sister Sharon Cole, and myself, Sister Sweeney, we do take great pleasure. It was a pleasure worshiping, leading worship with you today. And we take pleasure in handing over the rest of the service to a very powerful woman of God. Praise the name of Jesus. From a tender age, she was called out. Praise the name of the Lord to lead by example. We praise the name of the Lord for her. Praise the name of Jesus. Lift Jesus higher because he deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. He deserves the praise. And we acknowledge that he's Lord over our lives. We ask him to open the eyes of our hearts so we can see him today. Praise the name of Jesus. We take great pleasure in handing over the rest of the service to Sister Amarda Scott in Jesus' name. God bless you.
my soul does magnify your name. Mighty God, I worship you. Great is your name, O oh God, and greatly to be praised. There is none like unto you, O oh God. We search your whole world over and over. We find none like you. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are all powerful. You are our rock. You are our shield. Mighty God, we glorify your name, Lord. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We praise your mighty name. We thank you, mighty God, for being in your presence. For in your presence, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Mighty God, we thank you for this day. Mighty God, a day that we'll never see again. We thank you. We thank you for your glory that is in this place. We thank you for your angels that are worshiping us this morning. Mighty God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that is with us today. We thank you. We thank you, mighty God, that you are inhabiting our praises today, Lord. And Father, as we anticipate your glory, we pray even now, mighty God, that you continue to touch us, Lord God. Continue to allow your hands to be upon us, Lord. Lord, as we send up the praises unto you, be thou glorified. Be thou glorified in the heavens. Be thou glorified in the earth. And be thou glorified in this temple. Be thou glorified. We pray, mighty God, that you will continue to touch the moderator today, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the praise team, Lord, who have already sent up the praises and still continue to send up the praises to you, O God. We pray, mighty God, that you bind up every plan of the adversary today, mighty God. Because we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. So, Lord, we take the authority over the enemy this morning. And we pray, mighty God, that you have your way with us, Lord. We pray, mighty God, that you touch your servant, Lord, who will be ministering your word. We pray that you touch your hearts, O oh God, that will be listening to your word and receiving your word. We pray even for those that are in the distance of our voice. We pray, mighty God, that they too, Lord, will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you and we worship you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. I know it is a spirit of the Lord. There are sweet expressions on each face. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We give God thanks for prayer. Let me greet you all in the name of Jesus, the only name that brings hope and cheer, the only name that banishes fear. I greet you in this powerful name, and I am delighted to greet you. I extend welcome to you all, those who have just walked in. I trust that you will walk in on your healing and you'll walk in the saints of the Lord. Why did you come today? What's your purpose for coming? May you see Jesus, the praise team, that song, I want to see Jesus, lifted high. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. This place is full of his glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. I wish I had some worshipers today because the Lord deserves a glory. 
It's not about my agenda or about the program or what I have planned. It's about the, what the Lord has in store for you. So I may have chosen a song or I have had a script. But my God is saying, I want worship. And today is the day. Now is the day. It is now time for us to worship him in spirit and in truth. Now behold the lamb, the precious lamb of God, born, hallelujah, born into sin, that I may, that you may live again, the precious lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God has been doing some things, some marvelous things. And the more I speak, is the more he's filling me up with his blessings, with his glory. And I just want to give my life totally in his hands and depend on him to have his way. Today we will be hearing the words of the Lord. And please pardon me as I say. I'm not following a script today. I am just doing as the Lord leads. I'm just doing as the Lord leads. And we're going to have the word today. Pastor Edwin Scott will be coming to speak to our hearts. I know that God has a word for us. And I want to hear from the Lord. Speak to us, Lord. We need to hear from you. We are empty. Some of us are dry. I know some of you, you may be feeling sad. As if you're all alone. But once a might just says, oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. So though you didn't tell anybody, but Jesus cares. And he says, he sees your tears. Those tears that you have been crying and you try to wipe that no one will see he says he sees your tears and he hears your cry and he's going to answer Pastor Edwin Scott I welcome you today may the spirit of God anoint you and speak through you to his people receive pastor in Jesus name Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we worship him. Make the place pregnant with your worship to the Lamb of God. Born into sin so I may live again. Oh, give him glory. Give him glory. Whoa! Give him glory! Give him praise! Now behold! Behold the Lamb! The precious Lamb! Oh, you better worship Him! Born in the sin! See him. 
him. See him. I am exalted. Oh, you better know he's here. He's here. The Lamb, victorious, is here. He's a precious Lamb of God. Hallelujah. 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 Thine the glory. <laughs> wow. Praise him, oh praise him, oh praise him, oh praise him, oh praise him. Yes, yes. Whoa, hallelujah. Hey, God is good, God is great. We worship him for his blessings. For his move, for his spirit. I like when his spirit leads. <laughs> I like when his spirit leads. And as she had called me by the spirit, I was waiting to come to do God's will. And all of us who are here, we are appointed to be here today. <laughs> so if you're never Give God glory. Do it today. Praise the Lord. Open your mouth and worship Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Come on, flow spirit. Flow spirit. Flow Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Uh, you know, uh, David declared in his presence. Amen. Lord, help us today. There is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. At his right hand. Pleasures. Give him worship, church of God. Hallelujah. 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 Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet, sweet Holy Spirit. We worship him. We give him what he deserves. He has been too good to us for us to keep silent. Praise the Lord. And we don't apologize to give praise. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Because you see, it's many dangers, toil, and snares. We have already come and it is grace that has brought us safe thus far, church. And his grace will lead us home. So, greetings to your church. Accept greetings in the name of the Most High. Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And let me say, he is the original conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And he has broken chains. And you and I, we are here because he has given us the victory. Give him praise again. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to bless God for his spirit amongst us for leading us. That's what church should always be the leading of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I bless God for his daughter, my wife, sister, Martha, my sons today, Ajay and Chadwin on the music. 
Amen. For the brethren assembled here, visitors here, children, and those who are online, I greet you in his holy name. Praise the name of Jesus. It's good to give thanks unto God. Because his benefits to us, his children, has been unending and tremendous. And as I share these words with us today, may they bring comfort to our hearts, to our souls. Stand with me this hour as we read the word of the Lord from the scriptures. Hallelujah. Stand with me wherever you are right now. I'm going to read for us from the book of Luke 23, verse 44. And all of us, we're going to read together. Luke 23, verse 44. 23, verse 44. From the King James Version, Luke 23, verse 44. Amen. Are you there? Let's begin. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Let's go again. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. God's words are blessed. God's words are unending. God's words are everlasting. Praise the Lord. I want to speak to us on this very short theme today. Total eclipse. Total eclipse. Total eclipse. Ten to two. One fifty p.m. Last week or this week, Monday, many people across the world were excited, some intrigued, some frightened, some joyful, because there was a phenomena that was once in a lifetime or very long in happening that took place. And so when I stepped out of the lecture theater at the university, I saw persons looking up. Some shade in their eyes. Some had on special glasses. And I saw vehicles piled up at the observatory center where there are stethoscopes, there are magnifying instruments that persons look through and peer through to see these phenomena. And this was an eclipse of the sun. They call it a solar eclipse that took place. Many people in the U.S. and Canada and Mexico saw it full because it passed through many states in North America. And so the world was in awe because of this. Scientists have predicted that this would happen. A total eclipse of the sun takes place when the moon, from my little knowledge, in primary and high school, goes between the sun and the earth and blocks the rays of the sun. And it happens, they say, between six minutes to eight minutes, the longest duration. A total eclipse for some who like to follow signs means the end is coming. 
So many people predicted that the world was going to end. For six to eight minutes. But I want you to know that God has been doing these eclipses for years. Long before scientists knew anything about science, God was doing eclipse. And I want you to know that the very final eclipse will come when Jesus gets ready to take this world and whether you like it or not there will be a coming and an eclipse for some it will be darkness for others it will be light oh praise the name of Jesus praise the name of the Lord there was a time when the children of Israel were being oppressed by Pharaoh. And God decided that it's not going to continue. You know, God sometimes decides that his people will not be abused any longer. There's a time when God says no more. There's a time when even God is tired of the abuse. And so he instructed Moses, who had run away, to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go, to free my people. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And after some protestations, Moses took what God said to Pharaoh. And God instructed Moses that, you know what happened? These people, they are going to see who I am. Because everybody must understand that God is God. And he always will be God. In parts of Kingston, after the, the eclipse, because you know Jamaica have to follow everybody. They had a kind of eclipse in Kingston. Because the Riverton city dump was burning. <laughs> and the cloud covered the city. The cloud drifted in Spanish town, Portmore, and other, and other parts of the city. They were under a kind of eclipse. Because garbage was burning. But that's not the kind I am talking about. God instructed Moses to stretch his hand to the sky. In Exodus 10 verse 21. He says stretch your hand toward the sky. So darkness spreads over Egypt. And darkness will be felt. It's ever dark until you can feel it. Have you ever been in a place where there is light and there is a power cut suddenly. And you just can't make out nothing. Until the eyes have to adjust. You, you have a darkness where you can feel that God said, listen, I'm going to make the darkness so heavy so they can feel it because they are abusing my people. And when Moses stretched his hand toward the sky, the Bible says there was total darkness covered all Egypt, not for six minutes, not for eight minutes, but for three days. Give God praise and glory. No one could see nobody or move about for three days. And yet in that eclipse, God says, yet all the Israelites had light in the places where they lived. Hallelujah. Give God praise and glory. Give God praise and glory. It tells me that when you are with God, you will see the light. The song says, I saw the light. No more in darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are with God, even when darkness covers the enemy, you will be in the light. That is why we must walk and march in the light of God. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. We must worship in the light of God. It wasn't six minutes. It wasn't eight minutes. You see, God controls sun. 
God control moon. God control star. And so when him lock it up, you can't bridge it. You know, you know, people when not really pay them bill. Have a way for bridge. Yes. All, all women sometimes I see a bridge. A push up. A hook up. No understand the danger that them causing or they are exposed to. Hallelujah. Because them getting raw current, them say. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Well, when God lock it off, nobody can put it on back. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. When God turn it off, nobody, and when God put it on, nobody can lock it off. Can you give God praise and glory? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are talking about an eclipse that work against people who are against God. But work for those who are with God. What do you prefer? Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. I tell you, the disciples wanted to know and the Pharisees wanted to know what sign would be there so that they could predict as the scientists have accurately predicted the eclipses but God set it long time and so they wanted to know what sign it would be of the things that God speak of the abomination and the desolation spoken of by God through his prophets hallelujah in Mark 13 if you go there with me God tells me and you about the eclipse that would have taken place. Mark 13. I'm giving us Bible today. In verse 24 and on. God said in his word. But in those days after that tribulation. The sun shall be darkened. And the moon shall not give her light. That means eclipse. So the one that we saw. It was, the sun was still having light. But the moon blocked the light. And that is why they say you have to be careful. Because even when, when you are watching the eclipse, you, know, you see one little glimpse of the rays of the sun. It will blind you. Only a fool would look up in it. I remember Donald Trump look up in it. So you know who him be. <laughs> Not telling me say so. <laughs> if you look in the sun for a second, you lose your sight. Sometimes you are in a, 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 a place sheltered and when the sun hits you, it's like your eyes. You have to hold down first and, and catch your bearings and and you have to adjust first. You feel like you're giddy. Like you're going to. Is, has it ever happened to anybody here? Or am I the only one? Well, well, this that Jesus Christ told him about. He says, the sun will be darkened. And the moon shall not give light. That means total darkness. Because the moon gives light at night time. And the sun at day time. But God said. When I touch down after the tribulation and show man who run things and show early power, it will be a total eclipse in a sense. The stars shall fall and the powers that are in heaven, the galaxies, the Jupiters, the Venuses, the Mars, the Saturn. I'm sure Jair, if he wasn't drinking, he would tell me all of the, the planets. The Neptunes, they will not be there. They'll be shaken. But then they're going to see God pouring down. The Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. 
you need to understand that these things will happen. He says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Give God praise and glory. Total eclipse. And so Satan said, listen, I can break this formula. I am going to turn things around. And so, like he has been scheming, even today, how will I turn things around? He thought that Jesus dying was his doing. Amen. The devil got tricked because he never understood that God had a plan to rescue the perishing, to care for the dying. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. God still has a plan to rescue the souls of man, giving praise and glory. And so, he didn't read that a son would come. A son who would be wounded for our transgression. Who would be bruised for our iniquity. Whose chastisement our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we would be healed. He never read the script in his haste to get rid of Jesus. And so they hung him high. Hallelujah. They crucified him. Hallelujah. They bore his sides. Hallelujah. He was unable to move. They mocked and railed him. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Before the eclipse. Blessed be the name of Jesus. There were two men on either side of Jesus. And one said, save yourself and save us. But another said, listen, he is innocent. He has done nothing wrong. And you and I, we are guilty. But he looked across. Even though his head was fixed. But he turned to the Lord. And he said, Lord, there is going to be an eclipse. But remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Hallelujah. And he who was hung high, he who was transfixed, he who was in pain, he said to him, today, say today, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. And the Bible said it was 12 o'clock. It was 6 hour, about noon. And when it is 12 o'clock, sun supposed to hot. You know how you know if it's time if you don't wear a watch? <laughs> when you stand up and you can't see your shadow, you're standing on your shadow, you know it's 12. Talk the truth. Blessed be the name of Jesus. <laughs> Everything that man designed is based on what God has built. Time is built on God. So at 12, when the sun is at its peak, the Bible says from 12 to 3, the ninth hour. Amen. Read it. The sun was darkened and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. It wasn't six minutes. It wasn't eight minutes. It was three long hours. Praise the name of Jesus. God did it for three days before. He did it for three long hours. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
And at that time, the Lord cried out. It was dark. And he cried out. And he said, Lord, I commend my spirit in your hands. At the total eclipse, God gave himself, gave his son as a ransom to redeem us. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. The sun stopped shining. Life went in. Everything was sucked in. In the darkness. But listen what happened. There was glory. Even in the darkness. Because. The man who was. Standing guard. When he saw that. He glorified God. In the darkness. That fell. Hallelujah. And he gave up the ghost. One scripture says that the dead in the grave awoke, came up, and witnessed to the power of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling those who are here who are still not acknowledging the Lord as master. If you need to come out of the dark... You need to follow Jesus Christ. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Because he tells me in Revelation that there will be no need of the sunlight anymore. The song says no more night. No more tears. No more. You know that song, sister? Oh, my God, you better find it. Because we're going to close with that song. Because, the, the, you know, the enemy wants many people who are on the side of light to believe that we are in the dark. Am I talking to us? Those of us who are at the side of light believe we are in the dark still. When Israel was leaving Egypt after the deliverance and the enemy was following them. You know what God did? God set a, a pillar of cloud by day. Yes. And a pillar of fire by night. And you know what that cloud did and that fire did? It kept the enemy away from them. Give God praise and glory. What am I saying? There are times when the enemy... Has his radar locked on you? You know when they have drones, they program the drone, put in the coordinates of where the individual is, and Satan has his radar locked on some of us. And he believes that he's going to say bullseye. And anywhere you turn, he's coming at you. But the Lord said, I got you covered, son. Oh, somebody worship him. The Lord said, I have you covered, daughter. I will not leave or forsake you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Give him praise, somebody. None. No matter what kind of weapon, whether automated or not, they shall not prosper. So don't watch what is happening. Don't watch the arsenal of the enemy. God is going to deliver you. You are more than conquerors to him who love you. Give him praise and glory. So the pillar of cloud and pillar of fire was there to deliver God's children and it's there to deliver you and I and so we continue to wait on him for that day that great getting up morning oh yes 
when we shall arise to meet Jesus in the sky. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. No more sad parting. Sister Wilson isn't here today. Her husband's mother is being buried today. And I'm sure that some of us we reminisce at times because of missing persons who significant persons in our lives and some of us we will miss persons some of us will be missed too but there is going to be a time when there will be no more sad parting no more heartbreaking farewell to sorrow Victory at last, giving praise and glory. Praise the name of Jesus. And so I wait for that time when the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Yes, the trump shall sound, the dead shall rise. Hallelujah. And those who remain and our life will be caught up to meet him. What a celebration. What a day of rejoicing that will be. Uh, what a time that will be. And so I wait with bated breath for that day. The whole world will be a witness to this tremendous sight of God's appearing. Hallelujah. We all will see Jesus in him. We all will see him. We will behold the Lamb of God, the precious Lamb of God who was born into sin so that we may live again. May God bless you. May God prosper you. We're going to do that song, No More Night. No more day, even if it's just the chorus he knows. We're going to have that song done. I'm asking for those who have not yet tasted and seen that the Lord is good. For those who didn't know God would have touched you again. Hallelujah. Yes, because let me speak as the Spirit bid me. No? We're closing. But some of us we're at the point of no return. And God touched us with his power. It's time we start pleasing him. It's time we start doing right. Amen. And don't take the name of the Lord, our God, in vain. Because he will not hold us guiltless. That take it, Holy Ghost. His name in vain, give him praise and glory. Hallelujah. Uh, and all of us who, who have made a covenant to sacrifice, let's continue to march forward now. We're not dropping, we're not slapping our ride or our gears. We are going, we are going on. And on. I was so blessed when I, I heard the children and they were doing this at the salute. They were doing this salute. I, I, I was just marching in the spirit with them. Doing this salute. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And while Sister Sasha sings, thank you, my beautiful brethren. While Sister Sasha sings, I'm going to ask us to bring our offerings, our tithes, and give to the Lord as she ministers that song. And those who are online and you are considering to give to the Lord even in this ministry we have our contact information or email and other things you can contact us our number and uh, please you can make that sort of contribution to us may God bless you in Jesus' name
somebody today who have heard the word of God who have been pulled by his power the power the mighty power of his spirit today the darkness that you're experiencing it will end if you come into the Lord no more tears never crying again because you are saying praises to the great I am 
where you will live in the light of the risen Lamb. Who wants to move to the city of light? Hallelujah. God bless you. Come. And praise is to the Jesus. Let Jesus fix it. Fix it for you. Fix it for you. Yes! The light of the risen Lamb. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty God and our Father, we come before your presence in the name of Jesus Christ. We acknowledge you as Lord. You are power. You are awesome. You saved to the utmost. While we were yet sinners, when you hung on that cross, Lord, you died for us. You bled for us. You suffered for us just to bring deliverance. What can we do, Lord, but to obey you? but to trust you and obey you. We thank you for that work of salvation. Thank you for not running away, oh God, but for maintaining your vision. You looked ahead in time. You saw Edwin Scott. You saw Junior Saunders. You saw Philippa Shand. Hallelujah. And you decided to bear the pain and suffer the anguish to free us from sin. You could have called 10,000 angels, but you wanted to deliver us. You wanted to save. 
And so, Lord, we embrace the victory that you gave them. Here before you, your daughter cried because of your touch. Transform her tears into joy by her committing herself, committing her ways, and commit her time to you. Give her a heavenly taste today. May there be a recoiling from the things of this world. And may she be desperately lunged to you, O oh God. You have the power to make her whole. May she choose you so that her household will know you. Hallelujah. You have the power to change everything. And so, Lord, we pray tonight that the darkness that seeks to hide your face will recoil now and your light and your glorious grace will be upon her. Give her peace in her soul. May she be with you now. We pray for Jesia. May she to know you. May she throw herself at your feet, Lord. Uh -huh. For that change, for that transformation, for that transfiguration, we pray. Lord, that there will be your eyes staring down upon her. And may she turn it over to you. Lord, the needs that they have, their needs are many. But you are a God who promised to supply all needs according to your riches in glory. Remember your daughters today, Sister Verna Morris. She has been held by the enemy. Pinned. Can't stand straight. But Lord, we remember there was this woman who was like her. Bent for years. She came to the temple. No doubt you'd have read poem as your daughter did. In the minutes as she did. And you noticed her. And you went and you said, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. Loose her from the infirmity that has bound her over years and set her free today. We pray for Sister Nadine. Lord God, you have certified her as one of yours. I care not what the enemy has been doing, has been taunting. I've been provoking, tempting, and even beguiled. You declare that she's yours. As you threw your cloak of salvation around Eve, do it to your daughter. Cover her. Cover her nakedness. By your spirit, cover your daughter in the name of Jesus. Cover her, wrap her, and secure her. And may she know that you have a plan for her life. I ask, O oh Lord, that visions of rapture will burst on her sight and will keep her heart in perfect peace. Because from here on in, her mind will be fully stayed on you. Touch the children, O oh God who are here, may they receive you in their hearts. Touch mothers, touch fathers. God, some hearts are in pain, but today, this is a day of victory, a day of rejoicing. We pray, O oh God, that you will save to the utmost. We thank you for today. We thank you for your move upon your servants. For the songs of Zion that has ignited our souls. We thank you for your servant whom you led to lead us in worship, Sister Amada. May your grace that is always sufficient keep her and be poured upon her. Lord, remember sisters Shanine 
and Beatrice Golden. They have made it today. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, that you gave them the strength to come to your courts. You know their deficits. You know their suffering. But Lord, you care. Caring God, minister to their pain. Minister to their aches. Minister to their needs. And deliver them. Remember their caregiver. Your daughter, Sister Simpson. We ask for strength. We ask, so oh God, that you pour out your anointing upon her. As she ministers, may she know, oh God, that she's building up her stock in your kingdom. And when you shall come, she will hear the well done cry. Fortify her, Lord. God, we know the journey is great. But you will send reinforcement your servant. Have thine own way, O oh God. Continue to guide. Continue to guard. Continue to lead us as your people. As we tell you thanks for your blessings. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go by faith. Believe in God hath heard. And he has answered your prayer. bless you for the blessing you have blessed your people to come to the church we thank you that no one led them led them because you guided them father this week has been tested but your people still have joy in giving to you and so lord i pray a blessing will be bequeathed upon every soul that opened their hands to give I pray, oh God, that they will get replenishment thousandfold into their lives. We pray even for those who have not to give today. May you give them strength so that they will work and be able to contribute at another time. Bless this, oh God, and may it be used wisely so that your kingdom will be built up and your name will be known. Here, O oh God, we ask. Say thanks for your blessings. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I like what God has done today. Just dictate. And has his own script. That he has used. Hallelujah. My heart is blessed. My heart is is overwhelmed because of what God has done. Amen. And I want to give God thanks. Sister Marda, you did as God led. That's the way he wanted it to be. And I just bless God. What would I have done if I had missed this time? Hmm? Suppose Suppose you had stayed away. Can you imagine? I would not want anyone to tell me about today, Sister Sonia. I don't like to hear people tell me about nice things. I want to be there to experience it. And God had us here today to experience his overwhelming power. I'm saying to those who are not saved, serious thing. Make a decision. It is, it is high time you do something that is responsibly and wise and sober. Make Jesus your choice. Don't put it off. It's the best thing you would have ever done. We have a, 
a young boy to be blessed today in our midst. Um, Nathan will be blessed today. And I'm going to ask JC to come forward with Nathan. And um, we're going to honor God by giving him to the Lord. Um, it's always something good. Sister Joy called me earlier this week and I implored her that the mother ought to be here as long as she's alive. Um, you know, she ought to be here and so we give God thanks today for this bright boy who is here. Wow! Today is his birthday. And who else? Sister Faith? Wow. Yes. <laughs> give, me, give me a minute. <laughs> and we bless God for those who joined us online today. Those who um, took the time out to be here. As we shared Christ with you, we trust you will share this experience with someone. If you have not accepted the Lord, the opportunity is given. You can contact us. We will lead you to the place. If you are overseas, we will lead you to the appropriate place that you can express and fellowship with the saints and be confirmed as a part of the body of Christ. And so, may the good Lord bless you all and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. So we have Nathan today. We're not going to spoil Nathan's 